Welcome to Crash Bandicoot 4 Platinum Relics Part 1. Now, unlike the Insane Trilogy series that I just did recently, uh, this won't be as often. Well, I'm going to aim to, you know, get them done a couple times a week, but whether or not that actually happens is a different story. These Platinum Relics are obviously going to be much more difficult than anything the Insane Trilogy can offer. So there might be other, other videos in between. If I'm struggling really hard on a level, I can't get it done in time. Maybe I just feel like taking a short break from the level. Either way, there's going to be things in between and it's going to take a bit longer than Crash 1, 2 or 3. Let's get into Rude Awakening. I've tried this already, like just to get used to the triple spin and whatnot beforehand. Uh, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the triple spin. I much prefer just holding the trigger for running shoes. Like, I feel like I feel like I'm going to develop some sort of hand problem. I've also already, uh, oh, well, there's a miss two crate. Need to get back into it anyway. The last time I practiced was like a week or two ago. And by practice, I mean, I just tried the triple spin to the end of the level, like how to actually get it to activate. Cause you can't just spam the button three times in a row. That doesn't work like that. You have to time it in a certain way. Yeah, but no, you need this triple accurate here, so losing it beforehand, not really an option. I don't know if you actually need it, but it does... Just missed the one crate. It does speed things up a little bit, because you can just go through this. I nearly tried doing a death tornado spin. And you get it here again. It's really the last bit that I struggle on, though. I need the triple accu. I just want it. You know, I think it's easier to just kill myself, actually. I think it's faster if I just kill myself to restart a run. Another thing I need to practice as well is going from a triple spin straight into another one with no breaks in between. Well, there's my triple accu gone. I mean, yeah, I just I wanted to keep it. How's my ghost catching up? Can you even go faster on this section? I keep missing that one crate. Oh my god, just restart the run already. It's the crate. Again, let's just see. Dying is way quicker than restarting the level. Oh my god, that I can never get that thing to hit the TNT crate. Oh man, this is this. Is what I'm saying it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough challenge. It's gonna go on for most likely months, which is why there has to be other content in between as well.
I think I might turn that ghost off, though, uh, unfortunately. It's a little bit distracting, and it can get in the way of the camera as well. Well, I already know I'm failing too because I've somehow caught up with, well, my ghost has caught up with me. And then I tried jumping across here. Kind of like that. But it ain't quick enough. No, it's a 52. It's a 52 plat. Isn't it? Wait, no, you can check. No, it's a... Okay, 53.97, so actually, yeah, a couple seconds off there. But I am going to turn that ghost off. It is a bit distracting. I mean, yeah, it's like cool to know if you're ahead of pace or not, but the reality is it doesn't even matter. Just play the level, get to the end. If you have platinum, you, you get platinum. If you don't, you don't. You know, just don't worry about the pace beforehand because you can pick it up later on. Time trial ghost off. For me, if I'm on pace with a uh, relic... I'd rather not see it in my view. I want my triple accu. The thing with the jump being so floaty in this game is that... It feels like I'm wasting a lot of time just by doing a double jump when I really shouldn't. Because that, that extra jump takes so much time to come out of, you know. But yeah, the, that bit of the level it gets me, but it's really the last part that I can't do well. And I know the last section has a shortcut where you can like double jump, belly flop, and you can make a platform that, that's barely just coming out, and you can make it in time. No. See, the thing is, you can triple spin in the air. And it, it, it saves a lot of time. Nah, no, not even, not even close, man. Four, 49 seconds at that bit? Oh, this is going to be a long series. You've got to remember, this isn't actually just the amount of attempts I've had. Because I did do some practice to get used to the triple spin on this level. And even if I was, I was on Platinum Pace like twice out of an hour. And obviously even if I was on Pace, I would have just, I wouldn't have gotten the Platinum because I would have ended the run. Because I'm doing a series. Oh, well there's two seconds gone. You need every crate, first of all. You can't just miss crates like I've been doing. I've been missing crates. Obviously, missing a one crate and then going back for it isn't going to be any different. What I need to do is actually pick up every crate with pace. Oh my god. Should we end the series, guys? Hey, that was pretty quick. Does Aku Aku, Triple Aku even give you a speed boost? Because it doesn't feel like it.
No, I fucked up. Very close, kind of. I'm struggling to think I can do that much faster. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it would be that last bit. I think I'd have to do some. I'd have to do some insane trick to get up higher quicker. See, like, why is that thing programmed to to do that? Just hit the fucking TNT crate. Stop being a little bitch about it, you know. Okay, can we actually smash this crate? See? Holy shit, like it's faster, but I barely... Man. I'd slow myself down there. It's okay, guys. With good practice, we can get everything, okay? We can do all these levels with practice. At least I found out how to do that bit faster. I like that method. No. Man, I need to really get used to just triple spinning and also not dying. Motherfuck. It's that bug going to like the most random crate on one of those on one side. It's like, it, it's like, just go to the middle, hit the TNT crate, right? And then I can just speed my way through. I want that triple Aku. Why did he go that way and then around to the other side? Fucking hit the TNT! What? Like, that's fine. I missed one, but... Belly slop, belly slop, belly flop, accidental belly flop. Hey guys, you see the C on the back of Crash's jacket? Do you know what it stands for? Has anyone ever thought about that? Because I can tell you if you've been wondering. It stands for checkpoint. Man, the jump is incredible. Someone's got to tell me like a better alternative to jumping. It's just a bit floaty sometimes.
I think that's it, right? That 5397? That should be platinum. That should be platinum. Yes. That is platinum, right? Time to beat 39. Alright. The dev relic is 39, and I'm complaining about a 51. <laughs> Thank God you don't need them for the platinum trophy. Because, oh, if you didn't know, every other bit of content in the game will be done on live stream. And I'll just be saving the platinum relics for the, uh, for the videos. But yeah, thank God you don't need them for the platinum trophy. Fuck, 39? Who do you think I am? You know, I will say it's a bit disappointing when you get a platinum relic and there's no noise or anything. It just, just shows you the, uh, the, the PNG of the platinum relic. Yeah, no, it's a bit weird how it shows completion. There you, yes! One platinum relic out of 38, boys! But yeah, no, I will be doing this save file, by the way, on stream. I'm gonna be continuing this. Next up, Insanity Peak. This is a 43 platinum. Okay, that's a two crate. Yeah, we're getting some good ass cycles right now. That's a okay, I didn't see that. Well, I did see it, but I didn't know if it was a I didn't know if that was a nitro. It's a nitro, we're gonna have to jump on that. Oh man. I wonder if I can get across that without the rope. No! You know the funniest part? It doesn't save time if I go on that early. I mean, if I get an early cycle, it does. But doing this doesn't save any time than just waiting. Ooh! Caught that early. I did it again. Okay, I need to slide jump that. Alright, cool. I'm, I'm liking it more than the first level. No. Bro, I've got the yellow circle on. How can that happen? Oh, the, the relic crates phase out. You need to make... Okay. Well, you know what? It's worth... Even if you're not on cycle for that. Obviously, it would be better if you can make the cycle. But if, if you're not, it's worth waiting. Because of the two and three crate. No. Bro. You know what? I'm not even going to try and land on that anymore. No. 
No. What am I doing? Oh, I missed the crate. That's slow as fuck. Wait, what? I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to skip a cutscene still for some reason. No, we've, we've not got platinum. Okay, that's the end. But again, let's see. Platinum is 43. So, not even close. I don't know. Jump on it. Jump spin. No, it ain't good. Actually, that might have been it. Yeah, that is it, right? Yeah, we got it, yeah. Man, I think the way it shows you if you got it or not is just kind of underwhelming. Good! That was pretty fun. I thought that was fucked as well at the end, but obviously not. All right, I might try and get one more done for this video, so let's move over to a real grind. I haven't got a relic on this, so I don't know what platinum time is, but 139 for Sapphire. Oh, yes, we now have this. I already I need to see where the crates are first because I can't see them. Let me see. Oh, let me pick up the clock first. Great. This is gonna be. This ain't gonna fuck with me, is it? And that's a three crate. Okay. So now what we do to learn this is I'm gonna go. Just slow. Wait, that, okay, that, okay, it's one of them crates. So I just need to learn this bit real quick. No, I don't need to do that. 
then what we do here is we don't need to... Yeah. We don't need... That might not even be worth it. The circle, just use the circle. Can I just not go to that last platform now? Okay, we got lucky with that. I don't think there's anything up there, right? In terms of relic crates. Hopefully there's nothing underneath me because I forgot what... Okay, it's just... Yep, that's faster. No! Oh, whatever. No. So again, go off the corner of that. Boom. Yeah, so you don't even need to be in, in line with it. Which means I think I could just jump off that platform to where I need to go. We'll see. Yeah, that, I like that. No! But I thought the three create. I was like, no, I might as well go under now. This feels horrible to wait for. Okay, so it's a two crate and then underneath and then back up. You know, I missed one, but it's fine because I'd, I'd rather not die. Uh, I am. Um, uh, wait. Pfft, I didn't expect. That. I imagine there's no relic crates in that stack, but you never know, right? No, okay. I forgot you can't just like hold left and it will stay there forever. You have to time it. Okay, oh my god, what's going on at the end there, man? Holy shit. Oh 
What? I didn't... I. It looked like I fucking phased through that shit. Oops. What? I'm pissed about that. Everything but the free crate. That's not platinum, because that it's sapphire at least. It might be gold. Yeah, gold. Fifteen You know what that's all that that's all that bad. I, I think that's doable. I can do that. I can do that. I, I I can achieve that. I can. That that's realistic. There might even be some crates I'm missing, actually. Oh, you know what? You know what else it might be? Damage boosts. I mean, if I can't make that cycle, there's no point in damage boosting there. Yeah, um, there's no point damage boosting there if I can't make the cycle. What we need to do is get every crate. In fact, sp saying that, I did miss a three crate on that run, meaning it would have been even closer. That pace. The pace would have been just the same, and it would have been like two seconds away from platinum. Well, that's stupid. Wait. I didn't check if any of those are. They could be relic crates. You see me phase through that shit. I, I don't even... I might as well restart. I need that. Oh. Nah, it's over. Man, that's, that's so annoying. What do you want me to do? Just blow myself up then? I'll try and save an accurate to blow myself up at that bit. Not that you need to. Well, that said, I think there might be triple active on this now that I think about it. I don't know, waiting for that seems a bit ridiculous. Seriously, I'll do it if I have to.
Is that it? Yes! Alright, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good level. Pretty fun, actually, how you have to control the uh, platforms and crates. I'm sure there'll be plenty more of that later on. That is much more annoying. But I'll take a win while I have one. And that is all I'm going to do for this video. I will be doing all the other stuff that I haven't got that you can see here on stream over the next few months, I guess. Not just yet. I'm, I'm not going to be streaming the game just yet. I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy on Crash Team Rumble on stream. Then I'll be then I'll start streaming this and doing all these things. But again, the Platinum Relics will be saved for videos. In the next video, I will look to complete this area. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you all in my next video.